Now that you've been working in the lab for a while, you may want to start experimenting with working on your own computer. To do this, you have to install the Java Development Kit. So you may already have Java installed on your system if you've seen pop-up notifications about Java applets or whatever. They always tell you you need to update Java. That's going to be a little bit different because that's the Java runtime environment so that you can run Java programs. But when you want to develop them, we need the Java Development Kit, the JDK. To do this on the Mac, we again are going to pull open a browser and we're going to search for Java 8 JDK. And hopefully this is the first search result that comes up on your system. Um, it's the Java SE Development Kit 8 download. So I'm going to click on that. If that didn't come up in your search results, you can always put in this URL right here to take you to that page. Now notice there's a lot of things going on here. So Hopefully this will help you kind of focus on what we need. Um, these are all the downloads, and all we have to do is go find the system that we're on. And I'm going to grab the latest update here. So this is the Java SE Development Kit 8U102. Depending on when you watch this video, they may be releasing another version. So there's versions coming out all the time with new features, bug fixes. Um, so just choose the latest one that's available. And here we're making sure that we're getting the Java SE development kit, not the demos and samples. You can get that if you want, but for now we're just going to focus on getting the JDK installed. So going for 8U102, the first thing we have to do is accept the license agreement. So we'll click on that and here we're finding Mac OS X and getting the DMG file. So I'll click on the download and this may take a few seconds. Hopefully yours is installing too, so you're not just sitting here watching my video doing nothing. And this is pretty fast because I'm on the Boise State Network. If you're at home on a slower connection, it may take you a little bit longer. Okay. Um, once it's done downloading, it'll ask you if you want to keep or discard. It won't really harm your computer, so we will just hit keep. And once it's done with that, we can just click on it. And that will open the DMG so we can install. Double click. And we'll get this installer right here. So we can hit continue. It'll tell us how much space it's going to take. Hopefully you have enough. We'll click install. It will ask for your computer password, so your login for your Mac. And after that, the installation was completed successfully. We should close. And now I should be able to launch my terminal again and actually run Java from the command line. So that will be our first test. To do that, I will launch my terminal. And we can say Java minus version, usually a good one. And you can see now I have Java 1.8 and that's update 102, the one that we just installed. So to make sure that Java C works, I can type Java C. And if this big chunk of text shows up, that's good. That means it tried, but we didn't give it a file. Because we should do something like Java C hello world dot Java. I just don't have that on my computer right now. But you could probably you should probably create your hello world on some text editor on your Mac. And then you can open your command line and navigate to that directory using CD and then try compiling from the command line. And then also if we type Java, again, that's a good sign. That means it found it and it should compile. So 
Hopefully you can do that. That way you can write programs on your computer.